A Disky Times, now available in stores around the country for only three rand fifty. It is TV powered by World Sports Betting. Back at it. Hey, precision, man. So, man. Hey. Man, it's Lala so we walk and do it. You should one video every week. Yeah, um, so Lala. Um, yeah, man. It's a couple of developments that are happening this week. Um, Gavin Hunt joining Chippa United. We'll talk about that. And of course, a couple of signings at Orlando Pirates. So, we like as a former Orlando Pirate player as well. Um, we'll talk about that as well. There were some eyebrows raised about uh, one or two of those signings, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. Uh, first and foremost, to Gavin Hunt, Chippa United. I'm sure uh, you didn't expect that to happen. Yes, sir. Justice. Easy. So no junior. Unbulsen support in terms of using the way we are able to cheap, I ask myself, how good is? Eh, I'm a lawyer now too. In the only one, channel two is on Boshega. Channel two, they are on Boshega. La pana. Moba, eh, the history says, u u u don't do that na u u cheap and pay ngesi. Eh, if you not always get the layam, you out. You understand? So, who can we hunt now? If you can't do is the way I can tell and I is out. So, but of course, we have to be too. As we love and about the good they don't take nonsense. So I don't know. Um, look, Kulero, it's at the end of the day, it's football, and you know, football in a surprises. It was a surprise, a really big surprise, because the other team that I thought would be coming, I go if maybe it need be. Uh, Eden Duzana, um, the former TTM, uh, so Maroma Kalans, Maroma Kalans, yeah. Before you open the bag, I'm going to maybe, uh, I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, so you don't care, there's a problem. Yes, so I thought that I'd have a part. You know, I, I will say to good coach Gavin Hand, coach, uh, uh, in life, you all experience things in different ways, and we need to learn from our experience. And then we make sure with the going forward, you don't repeat the very same mistakes that you did um, uh, the previous. Yeah, I so mean, he won four league titles. Um, he's still a very good coach, uh, in my opinion. I still rate him highly. But of course, with his own style, uh, he needs to be given. Like you were saying, which is there's two lions now, two elephants colliding. Yeah. Yeah. You need to give him a full responsibility of being a manager. And that's what Chipper Mbengis was saying. Go to the difference is that he's not just a coach this time around, he's a manager. At Chiefs, he wasn't a coach, uh, at Vez, he was a manager, like he was yes. involved with yes. player contracts. Yes. It was Super Sport United, yes. he was a manager yeah. involved with player contracts. He got who he wanted, yeah. um, you know. And, and Uchipa was saying that, of course, Uchipa says a lot of things when he hires people, and then two minutes, two minutes, he fires them. Um, what do you make of that? Do you think Bazam Nega each charge because Uchilo Chipa, what you know, also by manager, Uchita. But do you think it's going to be given full responsibility and full charge of the team? And how long do you think it's going to last? Uh, I believe he's going to do it. He's going to do it uh, because my pega history ake super sport, not a really big team. We uh, are Malengago, but he managed to get certain players for him to win. He don't do that in league. Three league titles. Why are we going to do that? Why are we going to He is a big team. But you know, in terms of getting big name players, being a Colentola, so he managed to build a, a very good team, a uh, good fit for winner in league. So if he's got that position again, La Parago Chippa United, and hopefully, and I just, maybe I, I don't know whether should I pray for him or what, I don't know. Oguti, Uchipa, Amnigese, full responsibility yeah. of him getting whoever. And negotiate the contracts, do everything for the team. Because I think when he's doing that, he succeeds. But when somebody else is doing that for him, then that's where I think he's he's not really comfortable. Mm -hmm. I think maybe that's that's another issue, maybe that what's happening. Yeah, uh, you know, some of the fans they do follow football and they watch matches mm -hmm. and they read about football. And one of them was actually asking me. Um, we're having this back and forth. 
and, and I was not even suggesting we go to Kevin Handbook last because we know it's cheaper. Yeah. But the question from the fan was that Ubani Oge wa last vets. If you think Kevin Hand is gonna last, yeah. uh Ubani Oge wa last cheaper. Like every time it's like four coaches per season, five coaches per season. Um so based on what are we expecting Kevin Hunt to succeed this time around based on what are we saying he's going to last one year if no one has ever lasted even six months there uh, you I, I, I believe Guti, if Kevin Hunt also was Guti, as as for like, my players and Koshita my contract for himself for my players he's going to stay cheap but if we're cheaper he's going to be the one who's going to negotiate the contracts for the players then Gavin is not going to stay yeah. Live, definitely. yeah, man. And, and the other, other positive thing about this as well is that uh, one of his long-time colleague, Uroi yeah. Minjeli, um, yeah. is also the technical director. So he, oh, he, yes. he got him, Uroi, and also he got Kevin Hunt. He, even if he fires him in three months, at least when he, can, I'm he actually is serious about this project. I'm getting you. Out here, I'm going to technical director. I'm going to pay him as well, yeah. so that you can try and move this team forward. Maybe that's a good sign as well. Yeah, good level because you know, especially when we team is and cheaper, a strike in the season, in season out. You really need Kevin Hunt and give him everything that yeah, he the needs. people that he needs around him. Yeah, if I do, Funa Uto Villegas to come here, you must pay him. It, it must be like that. Mm. Then it's gonna. You are going to, I believe in him. Uh, you are going to, when when he's doing things in the, by himself, yeah. signing players, negotiating everything. I know he's gonna do it. Mm. But if someone else is gonna do that job for him, then I'm telling you, he's not gonna stay. All right, so there you go. That's uh, Kevin Hunt and uh, joining Chipper United as well. On the comment section, you can comment on how long you think it's gonna last. I'm not gonna put so on the spot. We don't know. With Chipper, it could be two months, it could be three months, or historically, it could be a season this time around. I saw the players gonna play offs, so watch the players gonna play offs. Those players are not really good enough, so maybe he's gonna need a new bunch of players to help him along as well. We'll find out, of course, as the season goes on, if Kevin Hunt is going to stay. Moving right along Orlando Paris signed or officially confirmed a lot of players uh, this week Eupoko Sanoga was there Kwanda Mnyongomunyama was there um, there's also another one who's playing uh, with Ikosafa with Bafana Bafana yeah. now I forgot his name yeah. and then Kwanda Mnyongomunyama I've just mentioned Goodman Musile as well was also announced yeah. maybe the biggest one which was topical uh, on social media was Ishu Kwanda Mnyongomunyama he plays for Marysburg United uh, he earns a move and we are in Olympics with Baf- I, I'm a look yeah. he earns a move to Sundowns he doesn't do well to Sundowns he goes to Cape Town City doesn't do well at Cape Town City he goes back to Mar- Marisburg United doesn't really do well at Marisburg United. He goes to Orlando Pirates. Um, what is your genuine, honest opinion about Kwanda joining Pirates, especially knowing the problems the Pirates at centre back? Is he going to improve them? Uh, I, I, you know, you know, as in as in Zagala in football, uh, uh, I don't know whether we start calculating using maths. Or, or, or we use a calculator in terms of our statistics work of playing and the contribution to the team and so on and so forth. I don't know because for me na na simkon do na miji anga gaza gamka banga for me na uti ukwanda mukonyama can go to one of the parents. Especially gulero, you 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 look at the team. We talk about parents. Parents a big team. We've got a crisis. A, 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 a center back. Uh, now, instead of go and get a quality defender, a, a very strong quality. I mean, here's who this boy, Captain he, 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 he Arrows. You know, good center back. Sibia. Sibia. Look, he's better than that boy, Umnand. So, instead of, you know, fully Panky, go and get that boy as a helper, like a center back, you're getting, a, 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 I would say, a free bait. Because they're not paying anything for Umgonyam. He's a free agent. But now is as a free agent, uh, if these other teams, they can't sign you, why do we think as parents he's good enough to come and aid the field? Like yeah, especially looking at I am a step so like, no, You know, it's all no, because no, you're a football no. person. You know, Uti, if you go from Marisbeck and then you do well, you go to Sundowns, you yeah. earn a move. Yes. Now, if you go Sundowns, Cape Town City, and then back to Marisbeck United, it suggests to Guti, 
your career is in a little, little bit of a yeah. decline. Yeah. So why are you signing for Orlando Pirates? Uh, you, know, you know, we had questions when Uncle Lego and isn't the most Zagala and we you know since we confirm our it seems like I do fat to take is got a hand. Because I mean uh, even if they are not playing well, of course, even even if they are not playing well in a certain game, but they're always gonna play, even the next game, like they always play. And now you ask yourself, okay, fine, I do understand uh, some players. Why some players when they're off form, it's easy to uh, keep. But for Lava Banya Lava, especially the ones that are coming from Guguma uh, Respect, they always play. So, man, you bring back a player. Guayona and Marusbeck can't sign him. Mm. So, if Marusbeck and Guayona can't sign Umgonyam, why do you think Guguti Mamletala is going to do well now? Yeah. So, you know, sometimes Gulego, you City, when you talk, Gubangati, we're fighting and we're not fighting, but you are telling the truth the way it is. You can't bring a player, a uh, Farhan uh, Umgonyam, or Pirates, where you're still going to go and compete, go, 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 Cave Confederation Cup. And then, what are you trying to say when you struggle with the unformed players, the experienced players who are going to put Tyson, Abo Nyawo, Zabo, Maile Bonke? You struggle with those ones. That they were playing week in week out, mm. and then now you're getting somebody who was not the regular at Maris Bay. Now you want him to come and help. <sighs> yeah, uh, there you go. Then I mean, th what's always saying is like exactly what was happening on social media with that signing. Um, but of course, Ukwanda has got a lot to prove at Orlando Pirates. He did well at uh, Kumar Junior's uh, International. He did well at Marisburg United in his first time around. Not a bad player, but of course you question those kind of moves. Would you, if your team or other teams cannot hang on to you, then what makes a big team sign you? But of course, uh, he's got everyone to prove wrong now uh, in the upcoming season. Uh, we are at Disky TV um, on Facebook. Over 150,000 people following us there. Um, we are, of course, a newspaper called the Disky Times. Uh, you get it for 250 every Tuesday uh, in and around Gauteng and some places as well. Um, yeah, we're sponsored by World Sports Betting. We thank you very much for watching us.